not only the powertrain is going to be the environmental friendly part of the car, it goes way beyond that. We didn't stop there. We melted everything together and said this is going to be about the vehicle, it's going to be about the experience, it's going to be about the materials. It's how those materials are processed or made. We partnered with our suppliers and we asked them to research in ways they've never researched before. So we picked a company which is producing leather in a different way. We show some of the natural kind of uh, wrinkles in the leather. The more finish that you put on there in terms of pigmentation, the more VOCs or volatile organic compounds you're releasing. When you put a low finish, you can see all of that beauty and the natural markings coming through. Our exterior paint is all made from um, waterborne product. Our carpet backing is made from 100% PET product. From a sustainable perspective, everything we don't throw away helps the environment because it's not wasted. The wood that we use is called rescued wood. We had the big Orange County fires a few years ago. I was driving and I saw a hillside of charred trees and the sun was coming through the trees and then it hit me, this is our wood source. Every single car comes with a certificate and that tells you. This wood came from the California wildfires, and this came from wood that's been on the bottom of Lake Michigan for hundreds of years. Suddenly the story kind of evolved, and there was actually one comment from a customer, and the customer said, well, can I order the car animal free? When we launched EcoChic at the uh, 2009 Detroit Auto Show, everybody understood it, nobody debated it, and we knew we did the right thing. Many of us, you know, live a lifestyle where it is animal free. We want to make sure that, that we can offer something to the customer. And it's that honesty and integrity that I really pushed for, because it's not a marketing story. It's a belief, it's something that we live. It is basically the sensuality meeting the accountability, and I think the automotive world needs something like this.